Uh, let's break these down. Get our resources back. And boop. All right, let's head back and see what we can do. So how much damage did we do? We did a fair amount, almost 2,500. We got a lot of stones too. I think I meant to put some of the stones in the grinder though before I left, so. Oops. You know, we're gonna move them anyway, so it's fine. Who's my door? All right, sawmills, please get to work for forever. For forever doing the things. All right. You can hold the raw wood and this. That. I go put some stone in the uh, thingies, the grinders. Put a stack in each, I guess. Mm, stack and a half. Just stack and a half. Okay, we're eventually gonna move those, but not immediately. Okay, so what else is next? The floors. So in order to make the fancy floors, we needed blood essences and plank, which we're getting planks now. So think we should do hmm how do we want to do this I kind of like that for the wood cutting area does that give us enough room to get by does I feel like it needs to be one deeper though. I might need to make a jut off on the side out here and put them back even one further. Is that even possible? Do I have enough room? I do. Ooh. Because then I could put doorways here and then I could put like the crafting stuff here and doorways, crafting stuff. Okay. I mean, I could turn these sideways, I suppose. <sighs> I don't think that would look as nice though. No, I think we definitely have to do it. Um, or it juts out one more. Okay. What am I missing now? Just planks. Okay. Can do that. Actually, you know what? I can just break these. Um, and boop, boop. I just need a little bit more planks. And boop. And I could take all this out. And shift them back one. I think that's probably what's going to look the best. Lose a little bit of symmetry as far as uh, just a square building, but square buildings are lame anyway, right? Who needs them? Who needs square buildings? Okay. Refinements. We want two of these. Something like there and there. Right. Okay. Now we're missing stone bricks, which have been on the craft, so that's not too big of an issue. Um, boom. Boom, boom. You take the rest. Okay. We get some stone bricks. That can be like, I guess that could be like our crafting or like our, our foraging side. And then I guess this side over here can be like our research and kind of like workbench area. Ink might be all right. Maybe. We'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Okay. Wow. Not super fast, my guy. Not super fast, but it is what it is. Okay. 
So what I want to do is this. So the wall there, opening here. I guess I really don't need an opening though, do I? They don't have like, just like a, a regular opening. Build walls on foundations to enclose rooms and capsulated rooms will generate ceilings. So I, I need to put some windows in my, in my base as well. So if I put that there, it does look a little strange. It looks a little off with the points. But I needed to enclose the room. I guess that's kind of, I don't have an option in that. It just kind of is what it is, and that's how it has to be done. Oh, okay. A vermin nest, I need you to move, please. Let's just move you, I don't know, we're here for now. Okay, then I need more planky clues, more plankies, please. Boom and boom. All right, then we want an opening here. Or do we want to put it there? So that way we could have like some dump chests in the front, maybe? I think the air might actually look a little bit better. Let me get to have something in the corner here. And it's not just like a straight around the corner. Okay, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. More stone bricks. All right, chat, we're learning, we're learning, chat. I feel like I had a ton of stone bricks. Did I not grab them? Did I lose them? Where did they go? Yeah, now I use a ton of them building the walls around the outside, but I thought I had like 60 left over. Stone bricks. Some wood, but I put that in there on purpose. Okay, I guess I use them all. Wow, that's surprising actually. Okay. Okay. So then this area is Done. I just need to switch out the floors for workshop floors. I could actually shift these forward if I wanted to. Nah, it's fine. I don't really need, I'm not really worried about it. So, let's see, foundation, workshop floors, blood essences. So I need just blood essences and planks. Yeah, it's easy enough, easy enough. Tons of blood essences. Should have a fair amount of planks crafting now. Okay, so which floor do we want, chat? Long boards or five fingered boards? I think this one needs the big boards. Because it's like a, a nice woody area for the sawmill. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You definitely know what I'm saying. There we go. Now these should be making faster for cheaper. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right. Cool. Actually looks pretty dope too. I think I'm going to put a window in. Uh, maybe on that first one right here, actually. Should I do it on the second one? It's going to be blocked by that, though. Let's do it here. Walls, window. Boop. Okay. So then there was actual windows that I could put in. Like window bars. Ooh. I'm down. Sure. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I like it, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so that'll take care of that. 
Next, we need to have a smelter. So do, do we need two smelters, chat? Or do you think we can get, get away with one furnace? Hmm. How much does it take to make a furnace? Oh, there it is. 60 copper ore and 480 stone. We have the stone. I just don't know if we have the raw copper ore. Oh, there were some there. Oh, there's enough. All right, let's go ahead and make two of these. Um... Wait, so I can only... Oh, yeah, I can make an extra one. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So, boom. And these are small enough to where you you could put them in this, this way as well. They actually probably fit two in one room, couldn't we? Uh, let me see. need some more planks. And whenever we play this next, I'm just going to start the day off by getting a ton of wood and just throwing it in there. And then we'll just go do bounties after bounties after bounties. Okay. No, it's going to have to go in two. I'm going to have to go in two wide. Um, Which is fine because then it lines up with the door. You can come in. Good. Uh, or should I make it three? Now let's do two. Let's do two. Okay. So then... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Perfect. All right. Then what do we need for the floors? Foundation. Forge floors. Stone brick, copper, ingot, and blood essence. Now, which floor do we want? Sigil pattern or readout pattern? Probably the readout. I think the sigil is more like fancy. So I think our forge area should be pretty basic. Nice. Nice. Okay. And our forges are working, sawmills are working. What do we use a lot next? The grinders. Let's get the grinders actually in their proper place. So the grinders, the grinders, the grinders. Looks like they're going to have to take over that whole section back there. Which is fine. Um, I don't know if they're going to be able to fit in one block gaps like the forges were, but we're going to try. We'll try. We'll try, Chan. We'll try. Let me get some more planks. I could even probably maybe squeeze another one in the middle there. Good indeed. I think. I don't think that would clip through. Oh, it is blocked. Okay. No, I couldn't. All right. So. Uh, the question is, how do we do the grinders? Grinders, grinders. Who's got the grinders? Grinders, grinders. Who's got the grinders? Okay, so they are shallow enough to where I could put it in there. Could put them in the corner. See, it's going to be too wide. That's the issue. Hmm. I could shift all of this over one. And put a third sawmill in there. See, I don't think I'm going to need three forges. And I don't think I'm going to need three grinders. I guess I could just put a couple grinders and like a nice decoration in the corner. I think that might actually look nice. Let's try that. Well, let's see. So that's where the edge is. 
Like there? Maybe. Seems kind of far over, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, then we go to walls. We build one there. Actually, we don't want a wall there, do we? Because we were going to put something nice in the corner. Right? Or that could be like a little secret area. Ooh, I'm actually kind of down for that. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. I think going to make it a little bit fun. Put like a, a secret chest or super valuables back there. Down, down. No problem. I can get rid of all these. Wait, it's connected? What's it? What? Oh, this thing. It's mantled by or blocked by castle wall. Put a regular foundation back out there and finish that off. And we can go ahead and dismantle that. All right, very cool, very cool. We're getting there, chat, we're getting there. I know that some people might not like the building aspect of these games, but I love it. I think it's so much fun. I think it's actually so incredible. For this one, we use the other one just to break up the floor a little bit. Oh, you know what I could put back there? My research table. My research table back there. I think that might be kind of fun. Or my alchemy table, like a like it's hidden away. I think that might look nice. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Um, do I want to shift these together more? Nah, I think I want to leave them. Pretty spread out. How much stone do I have on me? Let's do that. That. Get that back together and working. All right. We are making good progress. But what comes next? What do I use a fair amount? Come on. I'm out of wood, though. So when we run out of wood, it's over. It's over for today when we run out of wood. So it's very quickly approaching. Uh, maybe the blood press because the rest of these are like work benches and I want to put the work benches on the right I think and then um I want to have like my main stores like in this front area maybe in this front area in this right hallway right here yeah I should put my storage here so let me block this off while I'm thinking about that um that and that and I can put a couple of storage chests like over here. I want them against the back wall or probably not. Probably want them like that's kind of bugging me that they're clipping through though. this side two oh but this needs to be shifted over because I cannot build here you blocked my big stash what why is that blocked by big stash Maybe it has to, maybe like the way it opens, I guess, is what it's trying to say. Here we go. Getting there. Then we can extend out this row here and uh, make some nice decorations and stuff there. I think that'll look nice. I think that'll work pretty dang well. 
I'm just gonna leave this area with its normal foundation. Nothing too fancy, nothing too fancy. Uh, I do wanna replace this though with a window. Looks better already. Good. Uh, do I have the stuff to make a light? What do I need for a light? Oh, it just takes a plank. Oh, and you can change the color. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's a freestanding light? I thought you could put it on the wall. Ah. Oh, you can. Okay, hold on. Maybe. Oh, it's going a pillar. Ah. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can dig that. I can I can vibe with that. Vibe with that. So that's a fair amount of storage right there. Okay. So next, we I think we put the research station back in that little area. I think that's it's just calling its name. Let's put the research station back there. Also, I have an ad that's coming up in just over a minute. So if you're lurking, hanging out, please stick through it and come back and join the fun for more building. I would really appreciate it. It helps support me and the channel. So stick it out. I appreciate it. Uh, but if you're someone who doesn't like to watch ads and you have Amazon Prime, you could always Twitch Prime. Yes, you could Twitch Prime. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So then if I foundation or wall here. I oh. Must gather materials. oh, wait, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing planks. Oh, I'm out of wood. No, dang it. We were making such good progress. Okay. All right. Well, I think in that case, I'm going to snooze the ads. I thought we were... Um, in much better shape for wood than we were. Lame. That's so sad. That's so sad. Okay. Well, I think next time we uh, get on, we can definitely keep working on this build and um, seeing where things go. So I think in here, I want to put like metals, rocks, and stuff from metals and rocks. I think in this one, I'm going to put wood and stuff related to wood. This one, I think I should put plants, stuff related to plants. Um, so I'll put like animal products, like bones and leather. I think this one's going to be my excess that and rats be like stuff up could probably put the rats in the leather stuff but me it's fine let's take care of this real quick though uh, take all you try to take as much as i can and try to stack it the full stacks i need to make um that item thing as well there we go we got so much crap that we can go put in now so you can take my rats, take those back and that animal products go in this one. Animal, animal, animal. I got more rats I need to get rid of. Animal. Okay. This one can take, what can this one take? Uh, this one gets the plants. Your wood. Um, should I have my own gem box? Seems like there's a fair amount of gems, actually. Probably. I'll have my own gem box. This can be, this one will be gems here, I suppose. Gems and like uh, coins, I guess. This one can be equipment. And this one can be excess crafting materials. Okay. 
think that's a relatively decent starting point for sorting. It's not the best. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had this. Oh, it only works for Phantom Aegis. Oh, OK. Not using Phantom Aegis, but appreciate it. I'll put that in there for now. We'll drop off an extra rats. Actually, I probably got. That's yeah, fine. Oh, no, the rats don't go in here. The rats go over here. There we go. Plenty of rats, plenty of essence. Let's get the rest of them. That one's empty. That one's empty. A lot of equipment that's going to stuff up my inventory, but it's fine. Stones and stone stuff like copper. Wet stones probably should go in there, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Plants and plant stuff. Fire blossom seeds. Water skins should probably go with this excess one. Fish bones go over here. Oil. I should probably go in the in the random one as well. A couple essences that we need to drop off. Boom, boom. Sawdust. Money. All right. Almost there, chat. Almost there. Bones and fish. Now. A fire blossom. Yeah, that doesn't belong in there. Fire blossom. Sawdust. All right, one more pass and we should be done with all the chests here and then we can um be done with this part. Then we'll be actually able to use that doorway there that I made a billion years ago. Okay, cool. Uh, let's break these down. All the resources back. And boop. Also, I don't know what these do. If anyone knows what these misbraziers do, you gotta let me know. I have absolutely no idea what their purpose is. Oh my God, that was the wrong button. Okay. Make a couple more storages. I'm gonna need them eventually. I don't like that it's in front of the window. I might shift those over here eventually. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so stone stuff, yeah, stone bricks. Wood, sulfur goes in the stones. The moon is here. And that. What is that? It's plants. That is not what I wanted to do. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good. Okie dokie. Well. I have a lot more work to do. I need to shift. I need to make myself a bedroom actually as well. I need to shift my workbenches over to their other proper locations. I think I'm going to put like the other workbench. I'm going to put one workbench. You know what? I think I'll probably put this workbench right here and then seal it off here and then put a nice decoration there. Put this other workbench back here. I could put the, the equipment destroyer in there. There's a couple other workbenches I need as well, but um. Oh, I forgot about all these as well. Oh my God, I have so much crap that I need to take care of. I'm gonna have to already expand it out because I want this front room to be empty. I want it to be nice and juicy, but, but yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end stream there for today. I do appreciate everyone coming and hanging out. This was a lot more fun than the first time we played this. So yeah, the fights were amazing. Um, 
everything was a super juicy time. So thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for coming and hanging out. Oh my God, sorry about that lag there. For some reason it always locks up every time I do that, but if you did enjoy your stay, I would appreciate it if you would drop a follow so whenever you get, you can get notified whenever we go live next. I might be back tonight with something as like a group game. Uh, it's very dependent on um, whoever's around and kind of what the plan is. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I'm gonna take tomorrow off because we're doing our Memorial Day party. And then Monday, or no, Sunday, I should be back to um, either do this or more Valheim. And then uh, we're going to start up Amnesia sometime next week as well in, in preparation for Amnesia Bunker. So, yeah. So once again, if you did enjoy yourself, please drop a follow. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but that is going to be it for today. Be Rising was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward for more of it, more of it coming out. I was very hesitant if I was actually going to play it again. Um, because it's it's not the best for growing as a small streamer, but it is actually so much fun. I am actually having a blast with it. So I'm personally I'm going to keep playing it. So, yeah, um, yeah, wherever you're in the world, have yourself a great morning, evening, noon or night. Um, until I see you next time, do take care of yourself. Bye bye and ta ta.